walking castles, as described by Lyman and Gabledrop, called the Mad by some. Hey, you want to know about walking castles, eh, Burke? I can tell you all about the one I ran into. I was traveling with my fiance Clarissa and a party of our friends back from Fonnell, and we were walking to a portal we knew of in the second ring. It's raining. Find shelter. Over there, look. Yeah, yeah, hurry, 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 hurry. Come on. Get wet. The nearest shelter was a decrepit looking hut like an ancient hermitage. That didn't look like it was being used. I mean, like a bunch of clueless sods, we figured that it meant it wasn't, and we bolted indoors. Good, huh? It turned out to be a lot bigger on the inside than we expected, and a lot better decorated, but none of us took that to mean that anything was amiss. Clarissa picked up some jade figurine that was sitting on a shelf littered with jade figurines and promptly dropped it. Oops. Suddenly, the whole hut shakes like it's been hit by an earthquake. Oh! 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 Quick, the door! We run to the door and see the ground dropping away like we'd been lost into space, shooting us thousands of feet into the air. Below the hut, an enormous pair of goat legs pushed the hut from the ground, leaving a crater the size of a small moon, and the legs started running. Fast! It turned out that the hut's just an observation room on the top of a mobile tower, and apparently the owner decided to pick up and leave. Oh! Oh! Yeah! Well... Discretion being the better part of Valor, I hide behind a potted plant just in time, too. Some horrid abomination that bitter belongs in the slime spawning pits of the abyss bursts through the floor and engulfs Clarissa. <laughs> then it looks around and sees our friends. <laughs> the lucky ones jumped out the door and died easy. The screaming of the others will echo in my head until the Furies come to take me. I don't know how I was overlooked, but I'll tell you one thing, Burke. When the castle settled down again, I ran so fast and so far that my feet didn't touch the ground until the first ring. And I'll never, never, never get closer than miles away from another walking castle.